pulling up with the slap. Alright, so I'm walking by this booth and I see these little miniature amps. And what do you possibly use these for? It's got a factory looking Molex plug on it and that's it. A couple little switches. Alright, you got a few minutes? Can you tell me what this is, what it's all about? You bet. So these are the new PM 100X1 amplifiers. Uh, it's 100 by 1 at 2 ohms and 60 by 1 at 4 ohms. Um, 100 watts out of that little tiny amp? 100 watts out of this guy. It's debuting a new technology that we've been working on for the last couple of years. What it does is it uses the existing capability in the vehicle um, to generate its power. So rather than having to run a bus wire to the product, it uses the power amp output of the head unit as its power source. It's a combination of AC, DC, um, power signal that we're able to utilize to generate a voltage rail that we use for the amplifier inside the product to give us the output power that we're looking for at the speaker. It's designed to lay on the existing capability of the vehicle so you don't the barrier to entry for amplification of this product is much much lower than it is for a traditional amplifier where you would have to run uh, a dedicated B plus wire, have additional fusing, it uses the existing capability that's from the manufacturer, from the OEM. Essentially what we do is, you know, we're, we're saying a traditional head unit can put out 20 watts, but we're saying that, hey, this thing will do 100 watts, it really doesn't make sense. So we know that there's something going on inside where we're having to store some energy. So that's essentially what this does. There's a storage reservoir in the product um, that uh, the amplifier draws on when it needs to reach that preferred output power. We know that music is dynamic. It's not a, there's not a constant demand, current demand when it comes to music. It, it, sometimes the demand is high, sometimes the demand is low. So when the demand of the low exceeds the capability of the head unit, that's when we draw off of our reservoir. When the demand of the load is lower than the capability of the head unit, that's when we recharge the reservoir. So you have this constant charging, discharging of the reservoir to be able to support the, the amplifier demand and enables us to achieve the output power. The, the power supply is designed never to exceed or draw more than the head unit can produce. If, if this product drew more than the head unit could output, you could send the head unit into a protection mode, you could overheat the head unit. So what this does is it keeps, it stays in bound. So it doesn't draw any more current than the original system was designed to support. So if you deplete that, will it just pass through the original voltage coming off of the deck itself? Yeah, so if, if you're, say you're operating at a low output uh, level, 10 watts, something like that, essentially the output power from the head unit's going straight through the product into the speaker. Gotcha. Um, only until you exceed that capability of the head unit, you gotcha. start to draw. But music is so dynamic that... You, yeah, there's plenty of opportunity to recharge. So if you think of, you know, if the head unit was powering the speaker load directly, the voltage and the current are proportional. In this case, it's not proportional. The volt, When the voltage goes up and down, the current actually levels off so even though the voltage is moving the current is consistent until the reservoir is, so is, is uh, recharged or re-energized re again. Well can we hear this thing or what? Alright so this is my factory deck I got a couple of six and a half inch speakers running off of the high outputs on it but I hook up one of these little lamps what happens? Let's let's hear this thing. All right. So first, we're going to start out with stock. Okay. So you can hear that's about a six and a half dB power gain over the stock power. Let's so, do that one more time. Let's hear it without. Yes, 
amplifier is taking power off of that head unit, storing it, and spitting it back out at like five times more than is originally coming out of the wires. Six dB of increase? Six dB power. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. All right, so let's look at it on the scope. Hey man, that's pretty awesome. Thank you very much for the demo. Hey, you bet. I appreciate that. Thanks, yeah. What's this thing called? It's the Freeloader? Freeload is the technology and the model is the PM100X1. All right, yeah. <laughs>